home turf. The second meaning is that any student who thinks nevertheless it will be good to have studied in the UK on my CV, any parents who think it will be good for them to go, but maybe not when they're as young as this, not when they're just learning to live independently, to be a bit more independent in the way they study. Every student who studies with us has the opportunity to spend one year in the UK at Reading studying on the same programme. The modules that we have will all be available in the UK. So anyone wants to go, spend a year. My advice, and I, we, you can go really in the second or the third year, but my advice would be probably the second year, because if I know when I was a parent, no, I still am a parent, when my children were at, were at school, um, when it came to the third year, I hoped they'd be applying for jobs. Uh, and if you want to be applying for jobs, you really want to be here in Malaysia applying for jobs. So third year, serious, studying hard, applying for jobs. So if you're going to go to the UK, which will probably be a little bit distracting, you know, you've got to learn what it's like to live in another country. You've also got to learn uh, how to cope with the many distractions of the bright lights of London, which are just 25 minutes down the road. All of that. Maybe the second year is a better time to be doing that than the third year, which is really important, counts more towards your degree. Um, so I think that, that will be our advice. But we leave the choice to you. So if you want to, the second meaning of Best of Both Worlds is you can have some of your study uh, at Reading in the UK. We have scholarships available. Every entering cohort has one 100% scholarship called a Provost Scholarship. Uh, that's a very, very competitive process. You will probably know you're already going to be amongst the most highly qualified students coming out of the school system in Malaysia. So you're going to be competing with lots of people like you. Uh, but the very best students then get shortlisted and go through, um, we think it's a very friendly interview process. I have to say, when I see the looks of terror on the people sitting in front of us, maybe it's not quite as friendly as we say. But it is competitive. We really are picking out the students who are the very best academically, and also the students who we, we, we will be proud of uh, as ambassadors for the University of Reading Malaysia in the future. The other scholarships are based purely on exam results, and we do equivalences across the different exam systems, uh, and if you're a very high achiever, we do 30% awards uh, and so on. So lots of reasons to work hard, study hard. And if you're sitting waiting for your SPM results, I know it's too late to tell you that now. Uh, but I'm sure you have been working. Uh, and the students all look actually very calm and relaxed about it. There's a few anxious parents in the audience by the look of things. Right, Reading, over 125 years old grew out of the University of Oxford. Rather nicely, the University of Reading <coughs> was a branch campus of the University of Oxford. So here we are, a branch campus of the University of Reading, and the circle is kind of turning round again. And it's lovely for me, because I'm a, an Oxford uh, graduate. So my al uh, alma mater is Oxford, so I have kind of a link that goes all the way back. And, and I feel we're really carrying that academic tradition forward, bringing it to Malaysia. 98% of our research is being ranked as uh, of international status. And I know everyone says, why does that matter to me if I'm going to be a foundation student or an undergraduate? Is the research that people are doing really very significant? I think the answer ought to be yes. Uh, and certainly at Reading we like to think it's yes. We like to think that our, a lot of our teaching particularly on the undergraduate programs and up, is research-led. In other words, you are taught by people who are doing cutting-edge research. What they are doing in the library or in their field work or in the laboratory this week, they're sharing with their students next week or the week after. So it really is knowledge at the forefront of what is happening in the creation of new knowledge. And that's also important to employers. One of the ways that employers refresh their business 
get new ideas in is by bringing new students in as employees, bringing in new staff. So what, if, if, if you're at the cutting edge in your studies, what you bring in to the people you go to work for is new thinking, new ideas. Uh, and that's really important. That's what makes companies successful. So being somewhere where research is part of what we do is actually quite important to the quality of your education. I'm not going to spend time on the state of the art campus. Take a tour with one of the students, have a look around. Uh, as you can see, it looks slightly better in the sunshine than it does in the pouring rain. But um, we're very proud of it. We've been here now uh, a bit short of two years. Uh, and uh, I think if you talk to our students, they'll also say they enjoy working here. Reading in the UK, uh, top right hand corner is Henley Business School. Bottom right hand corner is one of the old 19th century buildings. It's actually the building I first worked in when I went to Reading. It's a lovely green parkland setting, uh, but it's also really not very far from London. Uh, it sits actually between uh, London and Oxford. We're very fortunate because we have our own airport. We let people in London borrow it, but actually London Heathrow is closer to Reading than it is to London, so we really think it's our airport that they get to use. And those are the programmes currently running. So if you do the foundation programme here, assuming you've chosen the right bit of the foundation programme, those programmes are all available to you, apart from the Masters and PhD at the bottom, but we do have students, and I imagine Bruce is going to say that in a minute, uh, back in the UK, who came to us on a foundation programme and didn't leave until they'd completed their PhD. Uh, they were extraordinarily good students. But that route all the way to the top is, is there available, and we'll be making the same thing available here. Those are the current heads of the various different academic parts uh, of the university. Um, I probably should say that Claire here is, um, is the current head of the foundation programmes. Um, it's the fourth today, isn't it? So she's going to be head of foundation programmes for another 27 days. The new head of foundation programmes is Bruce... On your feet, boy. <laughs> and, uh, so if you're interested to talk about foundation, uh, this is Bruce who's going to be leading things for the future. Thank you. And I'm going to hand over to Bruce at that point to tell you about foundation programs in more detail. Thank you very much. <laughs>